Dexter came in this morning. He's a eight-year-old Great Dane mix that has been having issues with lameness or stiffness in the joints, primarily his back legs. And then once they got him into the room, he had a seizure. This is Dexter's blood, right? Yes, sir. OK. Can you all go ahead and get x-rays? If he's starting to get too worked up or anything, let me know, because I don't want him to have another seizure. Now that he's had a seizure, that completely changed the whole ball game. I think we just need to do a full evaluation. We ran some blood work. We're going to take some x-rays, take a look at his spine, his abdomen. The owner also noted that his abdomen looked a little bit distended this morning, which she hadn't noticed before. He's got some tumors in, in a couple areas. We're just going to do a complete workup on him so we can come up with the best treatment plan possible. Hey. Hey. All right, so on his blood work, one of the biggest things is his alkaline phosphatase, which is an enzyme that comes from like liver and bone and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's pretty elevated. So the normal range is between 20 to 150 in a dog. Right. And he's over 2,000. Holy. So it's 2,024. So we're maybe possibly some kind of cancer? Well, no, I don't want to even go down that road yet. Okay. Um, I don't see anything that, you know, that says that okay. so far. Now, I do recommend some of those firmer masses, like the one on the back leg. There's one on the other yeah, side. And then the there's other one hip. right up here. Yeah. I think we should probably do, just do a little fine needle aspirate of those masses so we can send that out and that's figure great. out you know, what that is, if that's something that we need to be concerned about. But for the most part, the rest of his blood work looks good. Okay. Um, nothing that's you know too concerning. Um, I don't see anything on here that, you know, would explain why we had a seizure. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah. Just check everything out. You sure. got my permission. Okay. He's my little hero. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's brought me through a lot, a lot. It's going to take him a minute to get those x-rays, but as soon as I have those, I'll go over those with you, and we'll go from there. OK, thanks. That doesn't look good. He's got several masses. They're all over the place. And then he's got a large mass in the abdomen. You know, if this is cancer, I mean, it's it's everywhere. All right, sorry for the wait. Uh, we had to get a lot of x-rays. OK. There, there's some stuff on here that I'm really concerned about. I'll just start with this part here. So this is. This is the abdomen. This right here in the center, this looks like a large mass. That's definitely not normal. It's pushing you know, his intestines. His colon's kind of deviating down ventral instead of kind of coming straighter along this way. Um, so that's what we call mass effect. So it's, it's basically, it's kind of displacing his organs. This is very concerning for you know, some type of cancer that seems to maybe have spread. That seizure might have been associated with lesions in the brain. Mm -hmm. I knew something was up. Yeah. And we still don't know if it is cancer, but we don't usually see benign tumors behave in this manner. So I definitely want to get some aspirates of a couple of those masses so we can see what that is. As far as the mass in the abdomen, we can do an ultrasound and you know try to see what what organs might be involved, uh, possibly even try to get a, a biopsy of that mass to see if this is all related or if we're dealing with two totally different things. But if this does come back as cancerous, then I would probably want to refer you to oncologist. You have any questions? All right. Sorry to give you that kind of news, but um, you know I think we're on the at least we're on the road to figuring out what's going on. I need some of that. Let me get some samples from those masses, and I think we'll most likely just wait on those results. I want you to monitor him closely for any kind of seizure activity. So you just going home with him today? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, let you take him home, kind of get him back in his own comfortable environment. Give me a call if he, if he does anything, or if it's after hours, you know, get him to an emergency hospital you know, as soon as you can. This is a serious condition for Dexter, and I'm, I'm really concerned what his prognosis is. All right. Sad. <laughs> We're going to figure out what's going on. OK. All right. Thanks. I'll get him back here in just a minute.
Went ahead and took some samples from a couple of the masters off of Dexter. Uh, we're gonna send those out for cytology and see if they can tell us what it is. Thank you sure. for looking into All it. All right, I'll give you a call. Thank you so much. Right, take care. Say bye bye, Dexter. Bye, Dex. I'll see you, buddy. Say bye. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm Dr. Ross. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So we have Benji here today? Yes. Benji was walking in the grass, so. They've just been cooped up in their pen. Every now and then, I'll let them out and heard the chicken squawking. And I think Coyote would just come right out with me being right there. Yeah, I took a whole bunch of her feathers. And he grabbed her again and headed towards the barbed wire fence and just ran straight for it. My fiance said, well, you don't run towards a coyote. You have to have something in your hand, like a shovel or something. Uh, I didn't think about that at the time. Well, you saved her life. She's walking normal. She's mm -hmm. holding her head up. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't think it's anything wrong internally. Mm -hmm. So we have a, uh, two lacerations here, like the coyote grab yeah. here, because uh, we also have one underneath the wing. Mm -hmm. A wild animal attacking a, a domestic chicken. It's a miracle that Benji survived. She's probably in a large amount of, of pain. And that's, looks, yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. And uh, she could be developing an infection. We could clean those wounds up really well. And the laceration, we could surgically repair them, get her on some good antibiotics, and get her on some pain medication. OK. Teeth have a large amount of bacteria. So first, we have to clean out all of Benji's wounds, remove all the dead tissue around the laceration, and basically suture healthy tissue together. We'll take good care of her. OK. That. Today I'm performing a laceration repair on Benji, a one-year-old chicken that was attacked by a coyote. Um, the coyote bit into her neck and her wing. We have to shave him. Mm -mm, we got to pluck him. Their skin is too fragile to shave. The key thing is just to remove all the dead tissue, the injured muscle, and get two healthy pieces of skin together. You don't realize how easy it is to pluck a chicken until you pluck the chicken. You want to do the wing first? Yep. This is actually worse than what I thought. Yeah. I'm pretty sure when the coyote bit Benji, some of those feathers went inside the skin. So with dirt, debris, feathers, I had to remove all that from the wound. The owner has had issues with these coyotes. She says she lives in an area where they're doing a lot of construction. We're pushing those coyotes out of their natural habitat. Yeah. They're going to have to go somewhere to try to survive. Our sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had chickens when I was a kid. Every morning, I go out and feed and do all that stuff, and I just fell in love with it. And that's why I wanted to be a vet. All right, Kevin, we almost done. She going to get up and start flapping. She'll be ready. How we doing? Good. That's Benji. Shivering. Benji, a little cold. We're going to get that temperature up, heat Benji up a little bit. You did a great job, young lady. Thanks. Hey, this young lady came a long way. I remember when she first started. She was nervous. She didn't want to draw blood. And she did it. Look at her now. I mean, I've, gosh, tears coming to my eye right now thinking about it. Hi. She did a great job. Give me a hug. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <laughs> OK, good. Hey. 